This might be a fun way to do this. Pretend you're Kellen Moore. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco. A source tells me that Boise State's number one choice for its new head coach simply has to be Kellen Moore. Uh, this can be characterized, if you will, as speculative still, but it's educated speculation. Uh, it just makes so much sense that Boise State would want uh, the greatest hero in the history of their program. Uh, 50 and three, right, as a starting quarterback, uh, brought them their greatest glory. Um, good guy, local. He's from just across the state line in Washington, uh, Prosser, Washington, Prosser, Washington, where uh, he was a sophomore when he met Julie, who was a senior, and then in 2011 they got married. That's, uh, listen, that's what, a, I know he's the paper boy around here, but that's what a big stud Kellen Moore was when he was, you know, 15 years old, 16 years old. He was dating a senior, and then he married her. Uh, and then he led Boise State. Then he went and became an NFL quarterback for a couple of years. And now, of course, uh, he's the offensive coordinator of the Cowboys. And uh, all things considered, I, th I think most people would, football people would judge him as having been successful here this year, all things considered. Um, so, you know, he's not a hot NFL head coaching candidate, I don't think. Um, but he's a hot Boise State head coaching candidate. So pretend you're Kellen Moore. Let's look at the Boise side of this. So he's from around there. Uh, now, you know, if you're if you're from Idaho, then Washington is like your neighborhood. Uh, I, you know, if you're just like just like if you're from Wyoming, you kind of you kind of feel like Colorado, like like Denver is just down the street. So, <laughs> actually, it's kind of like Texas, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's right here. It's in state. Yeah, it's in state, ten hours away. So he's local. That's his thing. He is the prince, the crown prince of Boise and Idaho football and uh, to some degree, state of Washington and Oregon, that region, big deal. He can recruit. And first of all, because Boise already has success in that area, as Gil Brandt pointed out, Boise can recruit the West Coast. They, they can win, and they do win. They win some share of their battles on the West Coast. Uh, he can go to recruits and give them the ultimate pitch. Not that I'm going to help you be a good college player, that I know my way around the college game. His pitch can be, I know how to get to the NFL. If your aspiration is to get to the NFL, and what 18-year-old, what when big-time college football coach comes into your living room, I mean, that's, that's what you're thinking. You're thinking, I'm going go to go to college for a couple years, and then I'm going to be so good, I'm going to the pros. Kellen Moore can tell you, I, can, I know that path. That's a recruiting tool. And then Kellen Moore is smart and nice and sincere and all those wonderful things that can work in the living room with mom and dad as well. Where does Julie want to live? Uh, you, 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 if you're going to do this for a living and probably not any different than your living or my living, but if you're going to do uh, something that this takes this level of commitment, even though there's a lot of money to be had, you better run it by your spouse. Your, your spouse better get a vote. Uh, the marriage is frankly where the, you know, like the husband coach says, we're, we're moving to Canada. What do you mean we're moving to Canada? Pack it up. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that those marriages are the strongest ones. You know, we, we all, you know, this is this is 2020. We all get a vote in where we move, shouldn't we? Uh, <laughs> even the long-suffering spouse. And so, uh, I don't know, you know, Julie's parents, I assume, are in Prosser, Washington. And I know that Kellen's parents are there. His dad, Tom, was the high school football coach when he let his sophomore son date a senior girl. <laughs> uh, and so you can see the attraction. To, to going home. Here's my argument pro Cowboys. You want to be the crown prince of Boise? Or do you want to be a king in Dallas? And as I wrote on Cowboys SI at Sports Illustrated, CowboysSI.com, 
Thank you for reading it. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for listening to 105.3 The Fan as well and radio.com. Jerry, privately, wanted Jason Garrett to be his Tom Landry, Tom Landry Jr. Um, Garrett was here, you know, almost a decade and a half. So in terms of longevity, he, he almost got his wish. Tom Landry, of course, here forever in a different era. They don't do it that way anymore. But, you know, 10, 14 years, that's a long time for one guy to be in one place as a coach, as Jason Garrett was. And part of the reason that Jerry stuck with that for so long is he, he had a Landry-esque vision. Let's, let's not change coaches the way babies change diapers. Let, let's, let's, let's get in this for the long haul like they did with Landry. Let's build for the long haul. Let's be committed to each other, and let's go win Super Bowls, and, and you be my Landry. Well, that didn't work in the end. I believe that Jerry Jones, in a way, views Kellen Moore as Tom Landry the third. And I don't mean that uh, in any way to be insulting to a man I know named Tom Landry Jr., who is ac the actual son of the actual iconic coach. I think he'll understand what we're saying here. That that if you if you coach in Dallas, the legend to emulate is Landry. And Kellen Moore has some of those traits uh, as somebody that played in the NFL and then somebody who's a teacher uh, and somebody who's got a high intellect and an innovator. And so Tom Landry the third, that could be Jerry's vision here. Therefore, I believe that when Kellen Moore sits down, if and when he sits down, and Mike McCarthy already said that they'll sit down and talk about it if there's something to be talked about, but the Joneses certainly will. I believe that Jerry's going to tell him, my vision for you is that you're going to be a Dallas Cowboy coach as long as you want, Kellen, for almost as much as you want, salary-wise. I mean, you, you know, you, you let me know what Boise wants to pay you, and don't worry about that. That, we, that, that won't be an issue here. Now, do you get to run your own program here? No. Mike McCarthy's the head coach, but you have an awful lot of power. Not everybody knows this because Kellen Moore seems so unassuming. Kellen Moore has muscle in this building. He's not a physically muscular guy, but he's got muscle in the building. There's assistant coaches here from this staff last year that didn't get an interview with Mike McCarthy. And one of the reasons why, I'm told, is because McCarthy asked Kellen Moore, what do you think of him, him, and him? And Kellen Moore said, nah, nah. That's power. In fact, Mike McCarthy and Kellen Moore didn't even know each other. And Kellen Moore got to stay on here and be the play caller in addition to the offensive coordinator. And he got to be the play caller ahead of Mike McCarthy, who's the best, most experienced and best play caller in the building. Not that Kellen Moore hasn't done a fine job in that area, but he hadn't done it as long. Mike, Mike McCarthy's been doing that for 20 years. Kellen Moore's been doing it for two years. Stands to reason Mike McCarthy might, with skins on the wall, with credentials, might be better at it, at least entering this season. I don't think Jerry will let Kellen Moore out of the building. I think Kellen Moore is going to have to call the Mayflower van at 2 in the morning and, and help him sneak out of here if that's what he wants to go, if he wants to go to Boise. I think, I think Jerry Jones wants Kellen Moore to be a part of the long-term solution here. I think uh, Jerry is personally proud of his association with Jason Garrett, personally proud of his association with Kellen Moore, and views associations with those kind of people as being long-term Landry-esque sort of associations. So do you want to run your own show at college, uh, or do you want to be the heir in the NFL? Do you need it now? Kellen's 32. you need to run it now? Or, or could you use some more seasoning? Would you be a better coach if you waited? Better coach wherever you end up if you waited. Stayed in Dallas. Learned some more. Got better. Uh, do you want do you want to recruit? Because you you know if you don't like it, if you don't like recruiting, you don't like working in college. How about the boosters? How about having to play golf or whatever you have to whatever you have to do with the money people? See, in the NFL, you don't have to do any of that. In the NFL, you don't have to babysit. Not really. Not as much. You don't have to recruit. Not really. Not as much. And you don't have to kiss ass. Uh, not at all if you win. If you're the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys and you win, 
You aren't just the crown prince of Boise. You're the I don't kiss anybody's ass king of Dallas. Now, I'm biased towards pro football. I don't know very much about college football. Uh, I, I, know, I know what I'm telling you here about Kellen Moore. I know that they don't have an athletic director. Uh, and so it would be kind of weird maybe to hire the coach before an athletic director. Because if the AD comes in there and he goes, wait, wait, wait a minute, you, you already hired a coach without me? I don't like him. I don't want to work with him. Now you got a problem. So I know some of those nuts and bolts of it. Um, but I guess what I'm saying is my bias is towards the NFL. So it seems to me that if you wanted a path to Boise and you're Kellen Moore, you could have taken it two years ago. Instead, I think for a reason, you took this path. And I know Jerry Jones hopes that Kellen Moore stays on this path. Thank you for subscribing. We will keep you updated throughout the week. And even though it's Christmas week, as I, uh, as I tell you, uh, and, and we say this jokingly, and Marsha rolls her eyes, but she knows Thanksgivings are wonderful. Easter's great. Christmas is grand. Fourth of July, terrific. New Year's, fun. And you know why? Because, because there's a football game on Thanksgiving. Uh, there's football going on on Christmas. There's football going on on New Year's. Uh, I just made up the Easter one. I'll have to have to fill in that blank. And Fourth of July is annually uh, the third day of NBA free agency. So yeah, these holidays are great. But holidays don't mean days off. They just they just mean more sports in this house. And thankfully, uh, my spouse doesn't mind. I hope yours doesn't either. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out. We will talk to you again soon here on the Fish Sports Channel on YouTube. Fish out.